Hi everyone, it's Nick. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Okay, in this video today, we are going to be talking about genius interior design hacks for your home. Now, a lot of these are going to be based around things like storage, which I know is an unsexy topic, but don't click away because honestly, storage is underrated in your home because it's one of the easiest ways for it to make your home that maybe looks like this and maybe make it look a little bit more like this, right? We all have stuff in our house that we need. And sometimes I encourage you to hide some of that stuff. I've covered this in a recent video, but I really think it's a good idea to hide some of the um, aesthetically unappealing things that you might have. And so I've scoured the internet and found some really genius ways that you can find some storage in your home that I think is gonna make it look a little bit more clean and organized and a lot more aesthetically pleasing. So let's get to some of those hacks. Okay, but before we get to those interior design hacks, I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Wayfair. Now we all know Wayfair has a whole bunch of products on there. They have something for everybody on Wayfair's website, but they also have a really great YouTube channel and they've recently launched a series called Interior Mode with my dear, dear friend, Kiva Brent. In her recent episode, she actually mentions a lot of really genius hacks that are on Wayfair's website, which of course works perfectly with the theme of this video. It's almost like I planned it. So she has some really amazing products that she highlights for turning a living room into sort of a multifunctional guest room, which is honestly a really big challenge for everybody because, you know, if you do have people stay over, you don't necessarily have a dedicated guest room because you might not have the space for it. But Kiva has really done a great job in sort of creating something that is multifunctional and easy to set up super quickly. So head on over to Wayfair's YouTube channel. I'm going to link to that video down in the description. Go check it out. Make sure to comment, say that Nick sent you, and make sure to subscribe as well because they've got lots of wonderful creators that they're working with on some amazing content. And so let's get back to those other interior design genius hacks that I want to talk about. Okay, first hack that I have seen here, which I thought was so clever. I have two versions here, and that is clever solutions for your television. So I've seen these two that were on TikTok, and I just thought they were so genius. So the first one here, they've actually hidden a lot of the wires and the routers and the boxes and whatever behind the television. So what they've done is they've got a flat panel television that sits flush with the wall, which is beautiful, very contemporary, gorgeous. That's what we all want. That's great. But what they've done is they've taken all the wiring and all the sort of crappy stuff. And instead of just routing it through the wall, they've actually just created a niche inside the wall to be able to store a lot of that stuff. I think this is absolutely so clever, but I will say, because I can already see you in the comment section and I'm feeling it too, the electronics might get a little bit warm because I know if they're on for long periods of time, that can be a concern. But I do think that if you have a reasonable amount of like good ventilation, maybe that could make a lot of sense. But for things like wires and stuff, I think that could be super genius. Maybe some of those boxes you might want to store somewhere else. But I think this is very clever to be able to hide stuff in the wall. But instead of just putting the wires in the wall, you're actually putting a space, a little niche in there to hide a lot of the electronic boxes and things. So overheating might be an issue. But overall, I think this one is very clever. The other one that I actually also saw here is a little bit more of taking a mantle, but being able to hide so that it's actually a drawer unit. I think I might even like this one a little bit more, assuming that you're okay with having this sort of mantle underneath, because when in use, so you're, you know, you're playing the PlayStation or you've got the TV on and you've got the like box or the T, what do people have under there? I don't know, whatever you got under there. It's a genius way for you to do storage, which is great, but also you can keep, leave it open while you're using the TV. TV, or if you're using the video game console or whatever you're using, which I think is going to be better for ventilation than the other one where it's gonna be kind of stuffed in behind the television. Okay, next clever design hack that I have here for you, which is similar, we're, we're going to the television again, but I think you could use this honestly in lots of different places, not necessarily hiding a router, or you could be hiding like an Amazon, I don't wanna say the, a or the G, because then I'm gonna set all of yours off and then you're gonna be mad at me, so I'm not gonna say that, but if you have a G Home or an Amazon A, you could totally use this to kind of hide that sort of stuff. So if you don't like the look of those electronic devices, you can sort of hide them. And that is hiding them inside these books. So I've got two options for you here. One, you can DIY. I'm gonna link down below to the YouTube video. It's very short, quick and easy. It looks pretty simple to do. Basically what you do is you remove the spines from different books, sort of glue them together around a box and sort of, it gives the illusion that you've got books on a bookshelf or maybe under your television or maybe sitting on top of a media console, whatever, but then you just hide all the routers and all the whatever's in there and no one's able to know. So it really actually just looks like books on a shelf, but actually it's a cover for all your electronic stuff that you're trying to hide. This is also really good for people that, unlike the previous example, don't wanna do a lot of like wiring and shelving and making niches and whatever, which is obviously a much bigger construction project. So this one is a little bit DIY 
DIY friendly. If you're like me and you don't like DIY, that's cool. Also got something for you. So it's from Amazon Handmade, so no DIY or skill required, which is right up my alley, as you all know. And what they've done is they custom make these books and basically create kind of the same thing, but they do it. What I actually really like about what they've done, which is not in the DIY version, is the tops are also look like books. So if you look at the top of the book, it's got kind of a little ledge there of the actual pages. So you're able to kind of see that, uh, which it kind of just adds to the illusion. But I think it's a really smart way to sort of hide a lot of that ugly stuff that you don't necessarily want people to see. But it's, you know, whether you're doing the DIY version or you're doing the Amazon version, I think it can make a lot of sense. I also like the Amazon version one because they also allow you to do some customization. So you can customize it to the size that you want, as well as the color scheme that you want, which I think is really smart. The DIY version is nice because of course you can also customize it, you know, to pick whatever books you want. I hear you, by the way, I know a bunch of people are going to say, oh, but I hate destroying books because I love books so much. Books are amazing. Don't destroy your books. I hear you. I don't know about you, but I got a lot of books that are just kind of like sitting around. I'm sorry. So you know what? If I'm able to repurpose some old books and turn them into something cool, I'm okay with that. So that's up to you. I know book lovers out there think this is sacrilege, but you know, go to a used bookstore, go to whatever, buy some buy some books, let it go, okay? Let the books go, okay? This is to me a smart, easy-ish way for you to hide a lot of that ugly stuff and I think it's really genius. Okay, and then the next genius interior design hack I have for you actually comes from my own apartment. Now, it is genius if I do say so myself, even though I can't take full credit because this part was actually done by the previous owner. So it's genius, but I didn't really do it. I can't take full credit. So anyway, back there, there's actually a really large concrete pillar that runs through the entire building. So it's totally structural. You obviously can't take it away or, um, you know, the whole building would fall, which is, you know, not a great way to make friends in the building. So anyway, we have this concrete pillar and what was done, which I think is genius, is instead of leaving it as concrete, which you could totally do, it was clad in wood to make it batch the cabinetry in the rest of the kitchen. But what happened was, which I thought was so smart, is they extended the cabinetry about four inches to basically create a really thin, narrow cupboard just off of the pillar. So you could have just clad it in wood and stopped, and that would have been fine, and that would have been what everybody else did. But just to extend an extra four inches off of the pillar allowed an entire wall of cabinetry that is very narrow but perfect for things like olive oil or vinegar or spices, which is what I use it for. It's super clever and it's a great way to get a ton of extra storage for not a whole lot of work. So if you're ever doing a renovation and you're just thinking of like closing off the cabinetry, just consider like adding an extra few inches off of the end of your cabinetry and you can get a whole wall of storage for basically not a whole lot of work. Now I have hardware on here. I have these beautiful M-Tech handles, which I love, but you don't necessarily have to use those handles. You can also use hidden hardware to really create a seamless effect so you wouldn't ever really know that you have a whole wall of storage there which I think is just so so clever so if you're ever you know designing a brand new home or you're renovating consider ways that you can just build on an extra three inches, it really goes a long way to just add that extra bunch of storage that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Okay, next up, we have some interesting furniture pieces that I love that I have spotted around the internet that have a lot of really clever hidden storage in them that I think you need to know about. So first of all, I've mentioned this one on the channel before, but I'm going to talk about it again, and that is Rove Concepts has a couple of really smart solutions around hidden storage. So first is this coffee table right here. So when not using it for storage, I think it's just a really beautiful coffee table and you wouldn't necessarily know that there is some like ninja storage options that are happening here. So you just move it along this little slide mechanism here and then you can dump a lot of your stuff in there like uh, remotes and magazines and whatever you may have sitting around that you know you might want to put away rather than kind of displaying because it's not particularly attractive. You can throw your coasters in there when not in use. Whatever you need you can chuck them in that coffee table, close it on up and no one would ever know that you've hidden a lot of those different pieces. So I really love that and I think it's really smart. Smart. Rove also has this Dresden sectional, which has a secret hidden storage compartment kind of built into this um, drink holder and end table kind of option that you can put into your sectional, which I think is really cool. And these just have a little push mechanism so you can just pop them open really easy and another great way for you to hide more stuff in there. But aesthetically pleasing because it doesn't have any hardware, so it's not super obvious that it's storage, but a great way for you to hide some extra things uh, that you might have laying around the living room. So a company that I haven't talked about on this channel before is Expand Furniture. 
Now, expand furniture is just, I mean, genius. I don't even know where they come up with these ideas, but absolutely insane. I think expand furniture. First of all, I will warn you, it's not super cheap because there's a lot going on to make these really beautiful, clever designs that they do. I will also add that expand furniture is very small space friendly. So as a person myself who for many years has lived in apartments that are, you know, less than 500 square feet, um, I will say that every square foot matters when you're in an apartment of that size. And so expand furniture does a really great job of maximizing the utility that you're going to get out of really small furniture pieces. So this coffee table, fantastic here, super, super cool. But all it does is it floats up and then you can actually pull it out and add kind of the built in leaves. So there's not even like extra storage in other areas, but you can just put these little inserts in and expand this into a super huge dining table, which is just insane when you consider having a relatively small coffee table, but still being able to pull it out and expand it to have what? I mean, dining for eight. I mean, who can actually do that in a really small apartment? So really small footprint, but able to convert it into something that's super functional for lots of people. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. Two more things that expand furniture I have to talk about because I was just like, this is so freaking clever. This office, this doesn't even look like it's a home office, but um, it is. First of all, you've got these little drawers that are always handy, which is great. This doesn't take a whole lot of room, but then boom, you just pop it out and all of a sudden the chair is built in to the table. I mean, it's also a comfortable chair. It's not some like little fold down flappy piece. Like it's a full on chair. Then you pull out the side table. You've got another side table. It's absolutely genius that they're able to store what is essentially a home office into just a really small footprint. So very, very clever. I love these little genius hacks that people have come up with. Again, Expand furniture isn't cheap, but you're really kind of paying for how they kind of are able to engineer such a really functional, adaptable sort of modular product that they're able to create, which honestly just kind of blows my mind how they do it. And the third one I want to talk about is this Murphy bed. So this is really great for those smaller spaces. Murphy beds are always way more expensive than you probably think they would be, but a Murphy bed is a really sensible solution, but this isn't just any Murphy bed. What I love about what they've done is they've taken the Murphy bed concept, so it is a bed that does pull out, but you can spin it around and now you can use it for your television, extra storage. I mean, absolutely crazy genius, the utility that you're getting out of a Murphy bed, which is already very clever. So I think this one is super top notch, especially if you maybe have a guest room that you also want to double as an office, for example, or something like that. So I think this is really genius. Again, pricey option, but super worth it, especially if you're a person who really thinks you're gonna get a ton of value from doing kind of double or triple duty out of these pieces. Okay, next clever design that I have to talk about. And this is also like a trend that I'm seeing all over the place, but I thought I don't have any one particular genius hack that I wanted to share, but it's hidden rooms. I'm seeing so many of these really interesting hidden rooms, which are popping up now. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I have mixed feelings because I think sometimes it's a bit gimmicky. I think sometimes when done well, it is a genius hidden storage solution. So, you know, you can have something that maybe looks aesthetically really beautiful because it's just a plain flat wall, but then you're able to all of a sudden blow your mind because there's a powder room hidden in, in there somewhere or there's a butler's pantry or whatever. So sometimes they can be super, super clever and interesting. And I'm gonna show some of those here. Some of them look a little gimmicky and cheesy, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think there are times when having a really smart, cute, sort of Harry Potter under the stairs sort of room is really smart and clever. And then there are times when I'm like, okay, this is just a gimmick. Like, this just feels a bit gimmicky. Like, why not just, you know, do a door and like, do you really need to have a hidden room when you live there? Like the jig is up, like we know you live there, so it's not that hidden anymore when the same people are using it every day. You know, so I would say be careful with these because, you know, in a hotel, they can be really cool because then it's like the guest just discovers it one day and there's a sense of wonder that can be incorporated into the hidden room concept. And then sometimes it's just like, who are you really hiding this from when the same four people come into these rooms every single day? Like a hidden powder room is fun and all, but if it's just the same four people using it every day, why have it hidden? Why not just put a freaking door on it and call it a day? So I have mixed feelings on these, but I will say that some of them are super clever and kind of genius. I will say, the, I think the, the butler's pantry ones I find the most impressive. So sometimes they're not all winners, but I do think that overall they are quite genius and that's why they got into this video. So that's it 
it for me for today, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed these kind of clever hacks that I found. Uh, let me know if you have any other ones that you've seen. Comment below. And also, you know, feel free to check out my video on the number one interior design mistake that I see over and over again. Because guess what? It's, it's, it's storage. It's not sexy, but it's storage. See y'all in that video. Bye.